Okay, today we're going to determine the empirical formula for silver oxide. Here is all the equipment that you need. Tongs, ceramic triangle, crucible with lid. It won't look pretty, that's okay. Here's a scupula, a burner, ring and ring stand. You'll need a scale that measures to the thousandth of a gram or a milligram scale. This black stuff is silver oxide right here. Don't forget to read the hazards on it. Slightly expensive, so don't waste it. Of course, something to light the burner with. We're gonna collect three pieces of raw data today. The mass of the crucible, the crucible with the silver oxide, and the crucible with the silver. In our lab, this is where things are located. There's the tongs. This is on the wall near the door. There's some tr there are the triangles. That's if you need a brush or a mortar and pestle. Uh, we'll go over here. We on this middle section, or we've just got the scupulas, spatulas, thermometers. If you go a little farther down, but to the left, you'll find evaporating dishes, crucibles with lids. The lid needs to cover the crucible completely and not just sit on there. All right, we're gonna plug everything in. Make sure the hose is attached tightly. When you light the burner, don't light it directly under the crucible because when you first light it, you're gonna get a really bad flame. It's gonna produce lots of soot, which is carbon from an incomplete combustion. Uh, also, check out the crucibles. Sometimes they have small or fractions and if you heat them up, they're gonna break. This one had a crack all the way around the base and I barely top tapped it and it broke apart. So check it out before you start. You don't want a red hot crucible breaking apart on you. So we're gonna weigh it to the thousandth of a gram. That last number may flicker, just let it stop moving around it. And if it keeps flickering, just try to pick the middle one. Write down the mass of the crucible with the lid. Now, normally we don't like putting chemicals uh, into containers right on the scale, but in this case we have to. We want anywhere from a half a gram to a gram. We're gonna go crazy and do right at a gram. So just add one to the number that was already on the scale and try to get that number or maybe just a tiny bit above it. It probably won't matter. Just right around one. Don't do a whole lot more than one though. Once you let it stop flickering, you're gonna write that number down. This is the crucible with the lid and the silver oxide. When we light it, don't forget we're going to choke the burner and then we're gonna move it away from the crucible. We're gonna light the lighter first and then turn the gas on. Make sure your hair is pulled back and we get this awful flame. Make sure that your ring stand is adjusted to the correct height before you heat it up. You won't want to change the ring stand after you've heated it up. We need a pale blue inner cone. There we go. But we're going to heat this thing slowly at first. So I'm just picking up the base, tilting it sideways, and waving it back and forth. I know this the thought of holding a burner kind of freaks people out. But again, first rule of the lab, no freaking out. So as we heat this slowly, don't forget that heat goes up you have a column of heat going straight up uh, this video is actually at a slight angle now that we've heated it up we're going to a little bit we're going to kind of heat it up a little more so we got the burner going it's right underneath it part of the post lab will be to write down what you see happening and so you should make observations from an angle so as we get it Heating up, we're going to go ahead and put the top on it at some point because we're going to heat it, heat it, heat it. We want to drive away the oxygen from the silver oxide. And if you don't heat it completely and have it completely decompose, well, your numbers will show. You can see uh, a bit that's going on inside. Again, these crucibles can get to be quite hot. This one will be cherry red. And now we wait. I'm getting it just right so I can get nice, super hot. You can see that glowing on the bottom. 
This is the point at which you don't want your crucible to fall apart because you grabbed one that was cracked. See how red it is at the bottom? We want this to be hot, hot, hot. Now the problem is you got to wait. You got to wait until the crucible comes to room temperature. Do not put the crucible on the lab table. It is not invincible. It will, it will melt and discolor and have little bumps on it. You can put your hand up to the side of it and see if it's still hot. Um, but it's going to be hot for quite a while. We don't really want to touch it like that. And you just have to wait. Some people will try to put it on the base of the ring stand. The problem is they're painted. And if it's still really hot when you do that, it'll melt to the ring stand base. So just leave it alone. Go sit down. Take a 15-minute break. You're kind of done. Now, when it's room temperature, not just, you know, not so hot as red, but like room temperature, we're going to weigh it again. At this point, we should have driven off all of the oxygen. It should be just the silver with the crucible and the lid that's left. And now you've picked up your three numbers. And for your lab itself, it is over.